All right, good morning, and welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of this committee and are present today. We have Council Members Gibson, Byron, Deutsch, Kuhl, Levin, Miller, Richards, Traeger, Grudenchik, Diaz, Chemoya, and Rivera. I would like to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will vote our projects from our zoning subcommittee. We will also vote to approve two sidewalk cafe applications, LUs 580, submitted by OY Compensation LLC. It's for a revocable consent to maintain and operate an unenclosed sidewalk cafe at 3099 Emmons Avenue in Councilmember Deutsch District in Brooklyn. LUs 591, the application of Dai Hachi Sushi Corporation is for a revocable consent to maintain and operate an unenclosed sidewalk cafe at 46-18 Vernon Boulevard in Councilmember Van Bremen's district in Queens. We will also vote to approve the modifications LUs 564 through 567, the La Hermosa proposal for property in Councilmember Perkins district in Manhattan. The application seeks approval for zoning map and text amendment, a special permit to waive parking requirements, and a special permit to modify height and setback regulations. As modified by the City Planning Commission, the actions will facilitate a mixed use development with community facility space within a 340 foot tall building with approximately 180 dwelling units, including approximately 45 affordable units. Our modification will be to remove MIH option two while retaining option one. To address ongoing concerns over the affordable housing within the community, the applicant has further committed to dedicate $7 million under an agreement with Joe NYC and would help provide critical repairs and renovations work to 340 units of existing affordable housing within Council, Mem Council District 9. Joe NYC is the joint ownership entity, New York City Corporation, an organization of nonprofit affordable housing owners whose stated mission is to help secure long-term viability for its nonprofit affordable housing members. We will also vote to approve with modifications LU581, the POPs signage and amenities tax amendment relating to areas citywide and multiple council district. The Department of City Planning's proposal for privately owned public spaces or POPs will facilitate the updating of the city's public space symbol, require public space signage for various types of POPs, and allow the addition of, of movable tables and chairs as of right. Our modification will change the signage rules to ensure that such spaces are open to the public by requiring the DCP public space symbol, which is required to be on the signs to include the words open to public. We will vote to approve LUs 572 through 575, the 515 Blake Avenue proposal relating to property in Councilmember Barron's district in Brooklyn. The application by HPD proposes a series of actions, UDAP project and area designation, disposition of city-owned property, zoning map and zoning text amendment, including establishment of a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing option one, and a large-scale general development bulk special permit. These actions would these actions were intended to facilitate the replacement of an existing shelter building with four new mixed-use buildings with approximately 503 affordable housing and supportive housing units. Working with Councilmember Byron to address affordability and housing concerns, HPD also committed to maintaining 50% of the total project units as affordable to families at 50% of an AMI or below. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? I would like to uh, recognize Council Member Barron. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to comment on LU 572 through 575, 515 Blake Avenue, which is located in my district. And the project, as it was initially submitted, has been significantly modified. And I'm very pleased with the modifications that have been submitted. The initial project included permanent affordable housing, supportive housing, but it also had a shelter. And we uh, met, expressed to the mayor and his representatives our concern about our oversaturation with shelters. And I can say that over the weekend there was significant negotiations that occurred. So I want to uh, particularly thank Raju Mann, Rosa, and Amy, and others on the staff who worked uh, up until the 12th hour to make sure that uh, the adjustments were made. And what we now have before us is a project that has permanently affordable housing, 
uh, and has supportive housing. There are 135 units of supporting ha supportive housing that will be in this unit, and there will be 353 units of affordable housing, with 30 percent of that affordable housing designated for formerly homeless. So we are aware that there's a great problem and a need for housing for those who are homeless, and we think that we need to have a greater movement of moving from temporary shelter to moving people into permanent shelter, and that's what we have gotten here. And I just want to share with you, as has been indicated, at least 50% of the units that are going to be available for housing will be for people below 50% of the AMI. And that's significant because in the 42nd Councilmatic District, 50% of the population earns less than $35,000. So the median in my district is about $37,000, $36,000. So it's significant that we have uh, a large number of units at those levels that match the income levels of the people in the community. And of the remaining 50% of the units, they will all be under 80% of the AMI. So they'll be at 60, 70, and 80%, and that's significant. And I'm very pleased that we're going to have this huge project. It will be developed in stages. But once again, we've got to make sure that as we move forward with projects that we address that we come forward with a solution to reduce homelessness, and that's by providing them with permanent affordable housing. And once again, I want to say I thank all of those who were involved in this project. I want to also thank the speaker for his efforts to make sure that um, what it was that I was asking for was able to become a reality. And I also want to acknowledge the mayor and his team for coming together and seeing how it was that we could come forward to meet the needs and the interests of both sides. So I'm very pleased with this project, extremely pleased with this project, and ask that all of my colleagues would support with their vote. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. Are there other members from the committee that wish to speak? All right, seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittee and local members to approve LUs 572 through 575, 580, and 591, and to approve modifications LUs 564, 565, 566, 567, and 581. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Um, before I vote, just want to congratulate you, Councilmember Barron, on really negotiating a great deal for your district. Congratulations. And also want to give a big birthday shout out to Steve Levin. Happy birthday, Steve. Happy yes. birthday. And with that, I vote aye on all. Gibson. Thank you. I also want to congratulate Councilmember Barron. And in recognizing this project in her district, I also want to highlight that. 30% of the housing is going to be set aside for formerly homeless families. And when you talk about making sure that every community takes its fair share, I think this is a project that speaks volumes to what every neighborhood should be doing across the city of New York, taking in more than the minimum of 10% of set aside units for formerly homeless families. Only by doing that can we recognize that all of our communities should share in what we fundamentally believe is a citywide problem when you talk about homelessness across the city of New York and families that are living in shelters every single night. So I applaud Councilmember Barron and I vote aye on all items on today's agenda. Thank you. Barron. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Barron to explain her vote. Thank you. Uh, I, vote all, I vote aye on all with the exception of 564 to 567 on which I am abstaining. I did attend the hearing where they did a presentation of the project. And I was very concerned that this was a project, I don't know that if it's happened before, that we approve projects that don't have a designated developer. And I asked the persons who were presenting it if in fact they had uh, perhaps acted a little prematurely in bringing it forward and they really seemed not to have had a firm answer. But I, I wish them well, I hope that it moves forward, but that's my vote. Thank you. Deutsch. Aye and all. Ku. Aye and all. Levin. Aye and all. Miller. Mission to explain my vote. 
Uh, I want to echo the sentiments of my, of my two colleagues here, and I particularly want to congratulate Councilmember Barron for her work um, on this project in her district. And I would hope that this becomes a microcosm as to how we house the homeless throughout the city, that, that um, there's obviously uh, the shelter system that we've seen is not working and permanent housing and uh, access to permanent housing is the way to go. And this demonstrates that we can do it, that we can walk and chew gum at the same time. And I congratulate you once again, look forward to working on you in the future. Richards. Congratulations to Councilmember Barron. Happy birthday to Steve Levin, I vote aye. Traeger. Gordinchik. Diaz. Permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Diaz, explain his vote. Mr. Chairman, I would like to take this opportunity to express my condolence to my good friend, my brother, my counsel, and my advisor, Christopher Lin, who just lost his mother a few days during this holy season. And um, with that, Mr. Chairman, I vote yes or no. Moya. Yeah. Rivera. Aye. My vote of 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items are adopted with land use items 564 and 567, which are adopted by the committee 12 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and line staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for five minutes. Continuation, roll call committee on land use. Councilmember Lansman. 